people here waiting to get into that hot seat. So let's play tonight's second fastest finger question, and here it comes. Put these Roman numerals in order, starting with the lowest. XC, V, XX, I, 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 CN. And the time is up, but let's see the answer now in the correct order, starting with the lowest, and it was V. And then XXIII, XC, finally, CM, that's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? Let's see. The winner is Stephen Curtis. Curtis in the hot seat right now, also from Arlington, Virginia. That makes uh, two in a row here. Must be a hot town. I guess so. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a statistician. Statistician? Mm -hmm. Really? Did you figure the odds of you getting in that chair? Yeah. I, well, actually, I kind of looked online at the different numbers that they had that about 25,000 people call in the, the phone line a day. 25,000 is a lot more than that, isn't it? Something like 250,000. Maybe that's what it is, and yeah. I'm getting my number. <laughs> Did you graduate as a statistician? I'm working on so it. So then what happened? So you, you took the figure. No wonder you got it. It was twenty. You thought it was 25,000. Yeah. And then 4% of those uh, get all five questions right. Yeah. So that's about, uh, I don't remember, 2,000, something like that. And then so that I figured that gave me, since there are 10 contestants chosen at each uh, taping that uh, that would give me about a one in 200 chance which would be about half a percent chance. Uh, so. What's the difference? You're here. <laughs> you wore me out with all those statistics. And you are 15 questions away from winning 10 million dollars, Stephen. You know all about the lifeline, so are you ready? Come on, let's ready. play Super Millionaire right now. For a thousand dollars. The line, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, refers to what historic event? First man on the moon, invasion of Normandy, march on Washington, Trista and Ryan's wedding. I would have to say A, first man on the moon. Final. Final. Yes, you got that one right. You're off to a good start. Here it is now for $2,000. The word astrology comes from Greek roots, meaning to speak of what? Stars, the oceans, rocks, flowers. Well, I don't know much Greek, but I know that it's A, stars. It is, it's stars. <laughs> Stephen, going for 3,000. Fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles, cereal boxes, feature characters from what animated TV series? The Jetsons, Looney Tunes, The Yogi Bear Show, The Flintstones. That would be D, Flintstones. Yeah, you got that one right, too. He's on a roll here. He's got 3,000. He's looking at the $4,000 question. Arrhythmia is a common medical condition characterized primarily by what symptom? Ringing in the ear, dry skin, irregular heartbeat, Sore gums. I have to say D, irregular heartbeat, final answer. Now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said D, and then you said irregular heartbeat. I'm trying to confuse you, Rita. And you have. <laughs> so what's it going to be? I'm going to say C, irregular heartbeat. Final answer? Final answer. Irregular heartbeat? The right answer! <laughs> One, four thousand dollars. Good for you. Here it is for 5,000. Arithian dosana, meaning to irritate with back, is the scientific name of what animal? Woodchuck, porcupine, gopher, squirrel. That irritate with back uh, leads me to porcupine. The quills, you know. Oh, is that right? 
And at this point, I'm going to have to make the porcupine my final answer. It's a porcupine. Yeah. He's up five questions away from the next dimension. And when we come back, we'll reveal the identities of those mysterious wise men. So don't go away. Stephen Curtis, 23-year-old statistician from Arlington, Virginia has won $5,000 and will go for $10,000 in just a few moments. Now, in your early days, and you're 23 years old, but I understand you served a couple of years as a Mormon missionary. That's right. And where was that? That was uh, way down in Argentina. Argentina. Did you help anybody? I tried my best. Yeah, I'll bet you did. That was our responsibility to help people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, can you tell us a story about uh, doing that? Well, one interesting thing that uh, always cracks me up, we we were wanting to help this man who, who lived near, near to us. He asked us to come over, and he was a little down on his luck with his work. His work wasn't as busy as he wanted. And so he asked us to, to pray for him, that he would have more work. And, mm -hmm. and so we did. We did. And then we found out that he was actually a hearse driver. Oh. <laughs> so somebody had to die before right. he got work. Right, right. Thanks, but don't pray for me, will you? <laughs> That's good work. Good work, those missionaries. All right, so here we go. You've won $5,000. You're five questions away from that all-important $100,000 level, Stephen. As you know, if you get there, we're going to give you two new lifelines, one of which is the three wise men. And now we can reveal their identities. A pop culture and trivia specialist who, with her partner, Jack Mingo, writes the nationally syndicated newspaper column, Random Kinds of Factness, and has also authored 20 books including W.C. Privy's original bathroom companion, Aaron Barrett. Aaron, nice to have you here. We also have the fifth million dollar winner in the history of our show, Kim Hunt. Kim, nice to have you here. And America's foremost crossword and acrostic puzzle expert, who is also a contributing editor for the Wall Street Journal. Charles Preston. Nice to have all of you here. That looks like a good panel to me. All right. Good wise people standing by. So you're ready to continue? Oh, Come on, let's it. play Super Million. 